that's it. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Lincoln and I'm Elizabeth. So today we're going to be talking about Lincoln's personality. So according to the AKC, the Kane Corsi are considered part of the working group. So that means they are quick learners, intelligent, strong, watchful, and alert. They're great at guarding properties, pulling sleds, and performing water rescues. So Kane Corsis are known as intelligent, affectionate, and majestic. So being part of a working group means that you have to give them a job and examples of jobs could be like playing fetch, walking, or sniffing. That's really good when you're going on a walk and they're sniffing around. It's part of like scent work and it stimulates their brains. So that's another thing that you can let them do. Search and rescue, pest control, cleanup, trick training or obedience training, puzzle toys, any kind of toys that will stimulate their mind like the Kong toys or other kinds of for Lincoln I use a little bowl that's like puzzle like a little puzzle so it first of all helps him eat slower and also stimulates his brain caring things visiting people and places that's also another great one and also carting so mastiffs have been historically trained for carting like hauling fish and wood to be delivered to town so that's another thing you could do at home you can tie them on a little cart or a sleigh and just have them pulling things around the house or in your yard as long as they feel like they're doing something then that's good so Lincoln's personality I would say that it has a lot to do with not only his genetics but also his environment as well and the training so when he's playing outside with his sisters he can be pretty clumsy goofy overbearing at times like he'll jump on them and that'll annoy them but he is pretty much an omega dog he's like a follower he's not really the pack leader between the three dogs he's also playful with them because he's still a puppy he's eight months old so he just wants to play with them they're much older and he also has a huge appetite so when it comes to feeding time I do keep Misty separate because uh, Lincoln can eat her food and she won't eat anything she's not my alpha dog would be my doberman nixie she's the eldest so she runs the house and she will correct this little guy and also misty if they're doing anything they're not supposed to do like bugging esme our pig or eating someone else's food nixie my Doberman is pretty good at correcting. But just to make things easier, I just keep Misty separate from feeding times. And then Nixie and Lincoln will eat together. And he will submit. He will be submissive towards Nixie when she corrects him. And he will stop. So that's why I would say that he has the Omega Dog characteristic between the three because Misty will correct this little guy but I haven't seen him do any kind of corrections with the girls. When he's indoor with his sisters, I restrict play to outside only so he is much calmer inside. You can still see all of his characteristics but they're not as prominent as they are when they're outside together and playing. He does love to jump on them though and they find that very annoying <laughs> but for the most part they do get along he really loves them and they do love having the company as well so when we're out on walks and he's with his sisters and I take them all together they do have that pack leader mentality so that does play into how they're going to behave during the walks mm -hmm. especially at the very beginning when they have a lot of energy a lot of pent up energy it's not until towards the middle when they start to behave a little bit but as far as lincoln's personality when we're out on walks all together he is overly excitable and he's a follower he wouldn't be the one leading the pack that would be mainly nixie and misty and he would follow them so because of that i generally do not like to take them out on walks together because it's a little more chaotic and it does take a little more time and take away from 
their quality walk times. My way of training is we don't move forward until you behave, so that prevents us from going on a quality walk. But when I have taken them, together in the past that's what i've noticed from his personality so when he's indoors alone just with me i will bring him inside and i'll keep the girls outside so we can each spend a little bit of time alone just with me and from what i've noticed with his personality when he's indoors with me is that he loves to be near me but he's not overly needy he keeps his distance but he's in my general area he just loves to be around me he's also very sleepy just like this he'll just be sleeping when he's in that area he'll be very calm and he's much more trainable when he's alone when he's with the girls he gets overly excited and he doesn't know his boundaries when he's with my other two dogs but when he's alone is when i can get him to pay better attention and have his focus versus when he's outside with his sisters so when we're walking alone he is very easy to walk with he doesn't pull he doesn't tug when he sees other animals usually he won't chase them unless it excites him and it runs away then he will chase them but usually that doesn't really happen our neighborhood is pretty calm so we don't see much activities it'll be maybe once in a blue moon when we'll see a lot of activities and go a different direction but at night times he can be very skittish i don't usually take him out to walks at night but when i have i'm trying to do it a little more frequently because i want him to get used to walking at nights but the times that i have taken him to walks at night. He is very attentive and alert. He will be fearful of, of noises. If we're walking past a bush, I'll brace my hands to make noises on the bush because I notice those random or odd sounds scare him. So I want him to just be more exposed to those kinds of noises just to build his confidence up and he won't be so scared. <laughs> Overall, I would say that his personality does match the general description of Kane Corsos. And because I've socialized him at an early age and I've done a lot of training with him, he's pretty good with kids and other people for the most part. And I'm sure with time, he will be even more confident and more skilled. So this is Lincoln at eight months. This is how his personality is. When he was about four months old, that's when we got him, I would say that his personality is is about the same. Okay, so I just got off the phone with my partner and I wanted to ask his opinion on what he thinks uh, about his personality, just to get a second opinion and he describes him as dopey because he trips over his own feet he's nice he drools a lot and i can see that <laughs> not an excessive drooler like beethoven he would describe him as a big baby all he has is the looks like people are scared of him every time they see him they think he's going to attack them <laughs> but you're not gonna attack anyone huh He's slow in his movement, jealous when the other girls are getting attention. Uh, Nixie and Misty, my doorman and Aurora there, are getting attention. He will get jealous and I've seen that too. He does, he, he wants to be left alone for the, for the majority of the time, but if he sees others getting attention, he will change his mind like that and he will want the attention like he'll he'll just butt in and steal all the attention and lastly he would describe him as a sweetheart and i asked him to give an example why he thinks that and he said because he doesn't jump or pick on the kids <laughs> on our girls so i mean you know that's a good reason why he would be a sweetheart but i would say he's a sweetheart in general because I haven't seen him really with that protective or guarding instinct that Kane Corsos tend to have towards strangers. He'll be very inviting and he likes the attention from other people. I notice his tail wags all the time when people are petting him. But again, he's still a puppy so he might grow out of that 
but for now that's his personality so in the future i'm gonna do another update on his personality probably but this is how he is at eight almost nine months old so i think that's all for this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the description down below for more information follow us on tiktok and instagram i post a lot of videos i'm trying to do like a daily thing so if you want to see more intimate updates then you can check us out there okay lincoln lincoln it's time to say bye thanks for watching bye say bye bye everyone My Rottweiler, she's a. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna let me finish? Oh, let's stretch it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you fart? That's it. Oof. 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 Oh my god. Oof. Oof. Lincoln. Oh my goodness. Oof. Dog. That stinks. Oh my god. Pfft. I feel like I'm tasting poop particles. Bless you. <laughs>